Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville, or from Florida to Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo, and there's Christopher Draves. Hey, people. What's up? Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. They will outfit you with all your hockey needs, anything from player gear to fan gear. Jerseys, you got them. Gear, sticks and pucks and pads and goalie gear, masks, you name it, they got it. You can get jersey customizations and skate sharpened. No eye exams for the referees, but you can get your referee shirts and whistles and everything else. They also don't don't come with an eye-seeing walking stick like my uh, referee costume for Halloween did. But and they and they don't give you uh, new coaches or GMs either. Nope. So uh, that's a hot topic in the NHL nowadays: GMs and coaches. But for that, let's talk about a place where we don't have to deal with all those things. Florida. Yeah. Yeah, the Everblades, another another impressive victory. Uh, you get South Carolina outshot the Everblades 12-5 in the first. They outshot them 11-8 in the second. Florida outshot South Carolina 18-5 in the third for a total of 31-28 in favor of Florida as far as shots go. Uh, Derek? Scoring was scoring in the first was Stefan LeBlanc. LeBlanc. Stefan LeBlanc scored that goal at even stri- equal strength at the 1850 mark. No assists. Uh, then scoring in the second period was Dan DeSalvo. Uh, Dan DeSalvo used to play for the Cleveland Monsters. Um, yeah, this is South Carolina's goal, by the way. Yes. Um, that was at the 224 mark of the second, uh, assisted by Zach Malatesta. And Andrew Cherwakin. Cherwak Churn. Yeah, I was having a hard time saying his name too. I still don't have the correct pronunciation of it. I tried. Uh Cherwashin. Um, I'm sorry. Uh uh South Carolina. If y'all if you guys can find the uh pronunciation, that would be greatly Let appreciated. Know. Let us know. That would be great. Um then scoring at the 14th. 13 mark of the second and what ended up being the game winning goal was Leafco Coper. Coper had an assist by Stefan LeBlanc and Marcus Vila. Uh, Vila was not slated in the lineup according to their Twitter but here he is. Yeah. All right. Third period. Uh, third period, third period uh, at the 14th 35 mark. Uh, it was an insurance goal uh, to give them a little bit of a cushion. Uh, that was scored by Joe Pendenza, a former admiral, uh, uh, with an assist by Logan Rowe. Then scored at the 1590 or sorry, 1539 mark uh, was Alex Kyle with an assist by the captain, John McCarran. Then scored shorthanded was Leave Co. Cooper at the 1943 mark. Uh, goalies were. Um, I like these big. I like these big victories Florida's been getting lately. Um, uh, Jake Hildebrand. Hildebrand stopped 27 of 28 with one goal against. Um, and then we had uh, Kopsky in net again. He stopped 26 of 31 with five goals against. All right. Holy penalties. Yeah, there was a lot of them. And a lot of it was ticky-tack stuff. Uh, most of those penalties, I don't think they should have even bothered calling. There was a lot of fighting, too. There was definitely a lot of fighting tonight. All right, so we had Arvid Atwal with a game misconduct along with Askew. Uh, Atwal had a roughing call. Uh Um, And he got another game misconduct for returning to the ice slash bench. Rule 70.6 slates that you cannot, after a misconduct return, um before the game is over if your time if your 10 minute misconduct is not up then at the 1754 mark we had cody soul versus 
Holland. I don't know much about that fight, Chris. Care to enter? Uh, uh it, it was just your standard fight. Like I said, these teams were just playing aggressive all night. They just started fighting. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I just don't know what provoked these fights from happening. They just happened. All right. So your three stars of the game were Danny DeSalvo with a goal. Um, and then you had uh, Jake Hildebrand with 27 saves or 26 saves. Uh, or tw- Yeah, 27 saves on 28 shots. And Stefan LeBlanc with two points. I'm surprised Leafco Coper's not up there with two goals. He did also have the game-winning goal. So yeah. – a little perplexed by that. Uh, attendance at the North Charleston Coliseum was 2,700. Not bad, given COVID. Yeah. Right now, the uh, Everblades record stands at 16-5-0-1 for 33 points. They should be technically in first place in their conference because they played 22 games and Indy only played 18. All right, your referees were Andrew Wilk. Uh, linesmen were Terrington Walskit, Wals, Wise, oh, yeah. Wild Neck. For everybody watching, if we're saying any of these guys' names wrong, please correct us. We have no issue being corrected. And other linesmen was Brady Fagan. Um, this was actually the ECHL's 149th game total. Yeah, the season ends for the Everblades on May 3rd. All righty. Um, in yeah. other news, we will be back with Everblades coverage, I believe, on the on Wednesday. Yeah, uh, we'll be back in general Monday for a video. So enjoy Valentine's Day, everybody, tomorrow. Yep, uh, definitely hold your loved ones. If you don't have a loved significant other, always love your family. Or you could just subscribe to our YouTube channel and love us. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> also, go over to our Facebook while you're sharing the love and hit the like and follow button uh, from Milwaukee. Yeah, let, let, our video, let our videos help you uh, kill time on your lonely Valentine's Day. Yep, but we will be seeing you guys later. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the folks at Hockey Locker. For Dan and Chris, we will see you guys on Monday. Thank you for watching.